Webhead's Flash Thompson has come back to life and he's starring in his own event. Now I want to find out what is his comic book's worth. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I'm bringing you another episode of What's It Worth? That's right, guys. This is the video series where I take some of your favorite villains, heroes, B-listers, C-listers, or maybe some A's in there, and find out what their comic books are worth, right? These aren't always the holy grail comics, but you still want to find out what the value are of some of these lesser known books. So before we get started, guys, I still have my Road to 10K X-Men giveaway going on, inching my way closer to 10K. Once I reach 10K, I will do a drawing so you can win these possible X-Men prizes. All you have to do to enter is make sure you comment in the comment section below. Alright guys, so today's character is Flash Thompson. We're going to find out what his comic books are worth. He's recently made his way back onto the scene uh, in Marvel Comics and he's going to be in the Extreme Carnage event. So I'm like, you know what? I want to find out what his comic books are worth, <laughs> what's his appearances and things like that. So we're going to kick it off here with his first appearance and his first appearance was in none other than amazing fantasy issue 15 this is the hugest comics of them all first appearance and origin of spider-man first appearance and death of uncle ben first appearance of aunt may and of course this is the first appearance of flash thompson so how many of you guys have ever owned Amazing Fantasy, whether it's a high grade or maybe even a low grade? But on the low end of things here, we got 11.3K, mid 49K, and high 355,000. All right, so I don't know if I'll ever own one of these, but I would love to have an Amazing Fantasy issue 15. Next, we go into a book that's not nearly worth as much and this one it goes to amazing spider-man issue 574 so again this is all going to be about flash thompson and his symbiote as well so we have the origin of flash thompson and how he actually lost his legs how unfortunately this book is not worth anything it's one two and three dollars so again if you're just interested in the story on how he lost his legs in the war go ahead pick this book up so let's move on see if there's anything else worth value here next we have amazing spider-man issue 654 this is when flash thompson bonds with the venom symbiote after being recruited by the military for project rebirth 2.0 akm the sim soldier program that was alter classified as weapon 5 so this is when he first became agent venom so this is a pretty cool book to have in your spider-man collection low end three dollars mid nine thirty dollars on the high end so that's a pretty cool book i definitely have this one and then we move forward and we go on to those all famous point one issues remember those those are the great jumping on points for all marvel readers yeah where are they now right so the next book we're going to talk about is amazing spider-man issue 654 this is point one so this is the first solo story of flash thompson as venom low end this is a dollar five dollars mid eighteen dollars high pretty cool cover of this version of venom on it all right, so next we go on to Venom issue one. This is Flash Thompson as Venom working for the U.S. government. First appearance of Jack or Lantern, an unknown serial killer. So pretty cool. I got to find this book. I don't know where it's at. I know I definitely own it. Hopefully I didn't accidentally sell it with some other comics. However, this book is still not worth all that much. If you're into collecting Venom stories and you like the Flash Thompson Venom, this is worth reading. So this is $2 low, $8 mid, 
$20 high. All right, so next we move on to Venom issue two. And I love this cover as it plays uh, pays homage to Amazing Spider-Man issue 300. This is cover art by Tony Moore featuring Flash Thompson as Venom. So Tony Moore actually did the artwork in this book and I remember it was actually really, really good. I'm really thinking that I think I sold off this run when it came to Venom because I cannot find these books in my collection. I remember looking for them recently. I'm like, where are they? And I kind of regret that now, even though they're not worth anything. This one is $1 low, $5 mid, $18 on the high end. So again, nothing significant, but this is all Venom stories. All right, next we go on to Venom Flashpoint, issue one. This is a compendium 56 page edition collecting the beginning of Flash Thompson's stint as Venom. So this is pretty cool. It collects Amazing Spider-Man issue 654, issue 654.1, and Venom issue one, the partial issues. So $5 low, $15 mid, $50 high. So if you want some stories all in one place, this is something to pick up. All right, next, when it comes to Flash Thompson here, we move on to Secret Avengers issue 23, which actually was a good run. I really enjoyed this story. And this has Agent Venom, which is Flash Thompson, joins the Secret Avengers. Death of the fourth Ant-Man, which is Eric O'Grady, who was replaced by a life model decoy and the robots created by S.H.I.E.L.D. So that's pretty cool. But I remember this run and it was actually really good. I'm thinking that this is like the last great Avengers run that I read besides Dark Avengers. This book, $2 low, $5 mid, $15 high. All right, so next we move on to a book that I covered uh, when I did my last What's It Worth with Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider, and this goes to Scarlet Spider issue 10. This is the Battle of Scarlet Spider versus Venom, uh, Flash Thompson. So Flash Thompson in this battle against uh, Scar uh, Ben Riley's Scarlet Spider, he actually loses his control and he becomes the crazy monster. Agent Venom is obviously being controlled and then sometimes when he loses control he becomes the hulking venom monster that we know so this book low end one two dollars ten dollars high end all right next we have amazing spider-man venom incorporated alpha issue one man oh man I remember this book and it was actually a pretty good story. It's just not worth anything. So if you're interested in a cool Venom story with a character known as Lee Price uh, as Maniac, you might want to check this one out. It's the first cameo appearance of Lee Price as Maniac, formerly known as the Mania Sim Symbiote. First appearance of Flash Thompson as Agent Anti-Venom. So this is when he turns white, right? And first cameo appearance of the Inklings, multiple villains infected with the symbiote codex. So there's a lot of little things going on, but nothing transpired out of it really, um, especially when it came to Lee Price. I think he got he, he got the symbi symbiote taken away from him and he winds up being in jail. However, it was a fun story and I think this was still during Dan Slott's run. So if you're interested in reading it, go ahead and check it out. Again, not worth anything. <laughs> All right, and then next we have The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 800. This is the official death of Flash Thompson. Uh, he died in 2018, so we're in 2021, obviously, so now we know how long he's been dead. It's about three years. This book has a price tag of about $18 of value. However, this story was actually really good. Dan Slott had an interesting story when it came to Norman Osborn and him uh, bonding with the Carnage symbiote and him becoming the Red Goblin. And this unfortunately led to the death of Flash Thompson. And when I read this story, I did a review on this book and I was very emotional. I, the, his death was actually very honorable. It wasn't like a shock value or anything like that. And uh, I, it was emotional for me because Flash Thompson means a lot 
to Peter Parker. So uh, this book is awesome. Even though it's not worth very much, I definitely recommend reading it if you've never read it before and that whole Red Goblin story arc. So yeah, like I said, 18 bucks. You know, I think cover price originally was like $10 because it was an anniversary issue or a milestone issue. Next, we have the return of Flash Thompson, which was just most recent in the King in Black storyline. This took place in Venom issue 33 as he was like a codex and then somehow he became a white symbiotic dragon and then he crashed into his grave and then he wound up becoming Flash Thompson anti-Venom once again which i am so excited to see him make his return back so again returns back in 2021 during king and black venom issue 33 book is still cover price it's not worth anything but if you're following the character and you're following you know his death and his return and how he appeared these are all the books that you're going to want to pick up and then last but not least guys we have the event that's upon us which is extreme carnage this is the next event that has Flash Thompson in it. I'm so excited that he returns as Agent Anti-Venom, and I can't wait to see what his story is in store for us going forward after this event. So there you guys have it. There are Flash Thompson's valued comics, which most of them are not worth diddly squat. However, if you're looking with some great, if you're looking for some great stories with Flash Thompson in them, these are them. So guys, hopefully you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell. And of course, guys, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And until next time, this is Mike Spider signing off and enjoy those comic books guys take care